Hey folks, this is Gazwan Kari over at SharePointQuester.com. Today I'll be going over creating the managed metadata service application. We'll create a site collection, we'll create a new managed metadata service application to publish to the site collection, and we'll make sure that the uh, content type syndication feature is active on that site collection. So to get started, first switch over to your system settings and make sure under Manage Services on Server that your managed metadata web service is started. Then create a site collection. So we're going to go create a site collection. And we're going to call this SharePoint Quester. Under Sites, this will be SharePoint Quester. It's a team site. And plug in the administrator. Administrator. This is the primary site collection administrator. And then we'll go ahead and provision the site collection. OK, once the site collection is provisioned, let's grab it, put it on a different tab. Go back to, to application management. And under service applications, let's click on manage services on server. Or actually, no, under application management, let's click on manage service applications, not services on server. So manage service applications, we're going to create a new managed metadata service. The name of it will be SharePoint Quester Managed Metadata Service. And the database name will be the term store default. We'll use Windows Authentication. We're going to use an existing pool, and that will be the web services by uh, the default. And then under the content type hub, this is asking for the site URL to which the service application will be consuming content types from. We're going to plug this in here and go ahead and click OK. The database is already in use, so we're going to call it database store 2 default. Okay. Now that SharePoint Quester, let's look for it. SharePoint Quester the mouse helps here. SharePoint Quester Manage Metadata Service is up and running. Let's make sure we go to the site under Site Actions, Site Settings. We're going to go to Site Collection Administration under Site Collection Features. We want to make sure that the Content Types Indication Hub is active, and it is. This concludes this video. Thanks for listening in.